Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day to all. So today I would like to discuss one important topic in STM32 embedded programming. So that is uh, GPIO configurations. So before we can use GPIO in STM32, so we need to configure the pin based on the circuit given or the diagram given to us. So generally, STM32 having up to 80 bills be bidirectional IO pin. So there are five ports, and then each port have uh, 16 lines, and the ports are named as uh, port A, port B, port C, port D, port E, and are all five volt tolerance. So most of most of the pins in STM32 can be configured as input or output or as alternate function and alternate functions such as USAT, ADC, timer, I squared C. So as a standard naming convention, the pins are called by their GPIO function. For example, PA0 for bit 0 of port A and PB9, bit 9 of port B. So GPIO can be accessed as input or output or as alternate function. So the question is how to configure the GPIO to meet our specification. So to configure the GPIO port, we need to setting the configuration register. So there are two configuration register that is a, a, a configuration a CRL, configuration register low and configuration register high CRH. Okay, CRL is for bit to configure bit 0 up to bit 7 and bit 7. We have mode 0, then configuration 0, mode 1, configuration 1, mode 2, configuration 2, up to mode 7 to configuration 7. CRH is for mode 8 to mode 15. Configure mode 8 to mode 15. If you want to configure mode, uh, bit 0 and eh? bit 0 so we need to configure mode 0 uh, configure 0 and bit 0 to bit 3 in CRL configuration register low if you want to uh, configure bit 7 so so we need to configure this bit bit 28 to bit 31 so this is for mode uh, bit 7 mode 7 and configuration 7 Okay, so subject to the specific hardware characteristic of each I.O. port listed in the data sheet, so each port being of general purpose I.O. GPIO ports can be individually configured by software in several modes. So there are three configuration modes that are general purpose output. So we have general configuration mode. So we have general purpose output and alternate function output and also input so this means that we can set our port our port bit as output input or alternate function alternate function like uh, you are ADC or timer so for example we want to set uh, our GPIO as push pull output so we want to set it our GPIO A0 as push pull output so based on this uh, table configuration table so for push pull output push pull general purpose output push pull so we need to configure cnf0 cnf00 cnf10 cnf00 and mode we choose to use a maximum output speed so mode 0 and mode 1 is equal to 1 1 so, based on this table, so the, the binary 
equivalent is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Or in hex, equivalent is 3, is equal to 3. Okay, based on this uh, configuration, so our coding, our syntax is GPIOA. So you need to type the syntax GPIOA, CRL is equal to 0x, this hex 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3. Okay, so the 3 is for bit 0. For example, if you want to set GPIO3, same as a push-pull output, so we need to set the bit 3, we label the bit 3, A3. So, use the GPIO A, CRL, and then the set bit 3, you start from bit 0, bit 1, bit 2, bit 3. So, this is bit 3. We need to set as a 3 here. And because 3 for push pull, general purpose output. So another example, so set the GPIO A9. So we want to set the GPIO A9. A9 as a push pull output. Same eh, for push pull output. But in this example, we want to set a A9. So A9 is in the in uh, CRH, not in CRL because CRL is from 0 to 7 and then from 8 to 15 is in CRH high configuration register high so this is a CRH start from bit 8 so this is bit 8 this is bit 9 so we set bit 9 equal to 3 set to 3 it means for push pull general purpose output so we use CRH so another example, example 4, we want to set GPIOB, so in this time for GPIOB, 0 as input floating. So this is a, a table, input floating, so input floating is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So you put a 0, 1, 0, 0 in hex is equal to uh, 4. So our coding is equal to GPIOB because we use a, a GPIOB CRL and then because B, uh, 0 so we set 0x 0 0004 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, 4 input 14 B0 So example we want to set GPIOB5 and 2B7 2B7 which means 3 bit eh? B5, B6 and B7 as input 14. So we uh, type the coding GPIOB CRL 0x 444000000. So this is a bit 5, bit 6 and bit 7. 4 because we use uh, input 14. We configure it as input floating. Input 14 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0 in hex is equal to 4. Okay, if you want to set GPIOB6 and GPIOB9 as a push-pull output, okay? so uh, we have two bits, B6 and B9. And these two bits is not in the same register because B6 in the CR, CRL, B9 in CRH. We need to use two register. So we need type two coding. GPIOB, this is not A, this is B. GPIOB CRH is equal to 0x 0000040. This is for B9. Okay, this is for B9. This is for B. This is for B. Okay, is for B, GPIOB, CRH, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0. So this is B9, and then CRL, 0, 4. So this is for B6, B6. For G, uh, GPIOB6 and GPIOB9.
okay if we, so we want to configure all port in this circuit okay this is a circuit for UI and we have a uh, PA and PA5 and PA4 and PA5 we connect to the switch so this is as input so we need to configure PA4 and PA5 as input plotting and then PA9 and PA10 is connect to UI so PA9 is TX so we need uh, set as internet function push pull low frequency and PA10 is RX pin so we set as a floating input okay as a floating input and then we need our coding is for GPIOA CRL and for B, uh, P4 and PA5 so we set as input floating so this is 4, 5, 6, 7 is 4, 5 so this is a 4, 4 and for input floating and then for PA9 and PA10 so we need, we need to set CRH okay CRH so for pin PA9 TX we need to set uh, alternate function A and then for PA10 so RX pin set as floating input 4 so we got a 0 4 A 4 Okay, that's all for GPIO configuration. So, thank you for watching this video. So, see you in the next video series.